Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Uh, really quickly, uh, I don't know how long ago I did this reading where I said something about someone passing away in a community. This could be someone's father or someone's husband that is passing away. And I know there's a cult or you guys created a cult or something and have been on my platform stalking me. And when I was trying to release that message, there was someone trying to block that message from coming out. Um, I want you to know that that is your karma you are going through. What you're basically losing is what is equivalent to what you are trying to take from someone else. So you decided and you're crying a lot behind the scenes because this truth is being illuminated about what you are trying to do, right, uh, to someone uh, else's life. Um, so what you're losing is equivalent to what you are trying to take from someone else. So this relationship that you are losing this is what you were trying to do to someone else because you got on, out here and got on some type of vengeful mission that you didn't want someone to be fulfilled in life. Um, basically, your relationship was the most prized possession to you in life. And this is why you're losing it because you were so determined to end someone else. You say you didn't want someone being loved. You didn't want someone being fulfilled in life. You didn't want someone being accepted. You had a problem with how someone um, live their belief systems and everything. You have something against, uh, practitioners and divination, divinationers. I don't know if that's a word, but people that do divination, you have a problem with them. So you've made it your mission to end them. And you had a hate out for one specific person and you've been out here trying to block them, even wanted to send someone in to go and dishonor someone. This is how vengeful you've been out here. You've been very committed to paying people to just cause hindrances and things like that to people. Maybe the people that you partner up with were not aware how invested you were into destroying someone else's life, but you losing this significant person in your life is your karma. And I'm not saying that to sound uh, heartless or uh, spiteful, but this is like you reap what you sow. So this is what you um, sow into the universe. This is what you sow into the atmosphere. This is what you sow into the earth. So by means of that, this is what you are reaping. You spilled out hate into the universe. You put out a lot of negative energies and intent. You may have even higher practitioners and things like that to come after someone. And this is why this things are going this way in your life. Okay. Um, there is no recovery. Uh, someone will be ascending. Yeah, someone will be ascending or going back home. This could be like a king of pentacles that's passing away. Or maybe this is uh, just someone that's very successful in life. You are way down a lot in uh, behind the scenes. Um, I hear, uh, hear and see a feminine energy that's crying a lot. Um, and really, you have no one to blame because this is what you were intending for someone else. You were very desperate to control someone else's life, to block someone else. You wanted someone, you wanted another energy just living in pity. You wanted someone out in the street begging. You wanted someone out in isolation, rejected, just for no reason. And the sad part is the whole time you were doing this and getting people on the bandwagon to destroy someone else's life. You all knew that someone didn't deserve what you were doing, but you, you're so sick minded. You got a thrill out of the fact that you knew you were trying to destroy someone that did nothing to you, had done nothing to any of you. So because you got that thrill out of there and you just didn't know when to quit, you kept going. You had signs and symbols around you telling you to stop doing something, but you kept going and kept going and kept going. So the universe said, hey, you know what? 
since you're not getting the clues, we're going to fix it for you. Whatever you've been wanting someone else to lose is what you're going to lose. So you may have gotten in to a situation where you block two people from coming together. You block someone's offer and block all kinds of stuff. So the universe says, since this is what you cherish the most, your relationship with this distorted person, because the both of you are karmic as heck. Uh, since this is what you cherish, that's what we're going to take from you. And I keep telling you all that life is a projection of the energy you put out. And there is a favorite reader of mine that has a card that says that, and she says that on her channel. Life is absolutely a projection of the energy you put out. So if you are out here trying to end someone else's livelihood, you say you don't want someone to be loved. You lose that. You put some type of death energy out there for someone. You lose that. Uh, I, I just remember when I did that reading, I think I had to, um, I had to upload, I try uploading that video time and I, like I had to try a few times to upload that video. Okay. Typically my YouTube videos, they will upload maybe within 45 minutes but when i was trying to upload that video it will like as sometimes it will upload and then it stopped or you are just you didn't want the video uploading so it will be like in the waiting stage for like ever for like three four hours some of my videos will be in waiting for like 24 hours for it to post because you just didn't want the truth out and you are, are under some type of assumption that if a video does not come out then the then, then that um uh, uh then it hasn't been spoken that that what per, what the person is saying has not been spoken into existence you're retarded as heck because what these are practitioners these are spiritual workers so all they do as long as they receive their download they can even just say it at their workstation it's already spoken into the atmosphere so there's really nothing you can do. But I think why you are didn't want that video coming out is because you didn't want the rest of the community to know how far you had gone and that you were going through losses behind the scenes. So you thought if maybe they didn't hear that reading, then they wouldn't know that you were receiving some type of karma because you are the head honcho that has been in charge of leading the rest of the pack telling them to grab their pitchforks and their axes and everything uh, to come after someone knowing the whole time you're in a burning building and i keep using that analogy because this is what you all have been in a whole burning building but you've been committed to a cause that was not going to reap anything for you okay the only thing it really reap is karma and this is just the beginning now you have a knight of pentacles that wants to go towards someone out here with a lot of lustful energy because they want to drag something out it's not because they want to you know uh, um um, make some type of amends us anything like that it's because they want to drag some type of karmic cycle out so they may want to come and pay uh pay you something collective whoever you are they may want to come in and give you money and say hey um i know we did this to you did that to you whatever this is but i want to i just want you to know that we are so sorry we want to balance this out we want to give you this little don't take nothing from these people it's all cursed there's a masculine that even wants to come towards someone with, uh, I don't know, like some type of technology, like a new computer, phone or something like that. Don't take nothing from these people. It's cursed. Okay, it's cursed. If they give you something, don't even touch it. If you're touching it, hold it with like a tower. Make sure there's some type of barrier between you and that object and throw it right in the trash because whatever they're coming towards you with is cursed. The masculine that's coming towards you is cursed. This is a thief. This is a cunning character and you need to hold back from them because they're all going through towers, losses behind the scenes because what? They like the ability before to see the truth in some type of situation or a lot of them saw what they were doing and they just did not care how it was affecting you. So they stay committed to what interfering with your life. They didn't want you out here happy, being fulfilled and things like that. They were trying to trap you, have you living in fear and anxiety, uh, being disappointed time after time again and trying to block the truth. They are unhappy now because the truth is out and they're having to move on, right? So whatever this man is coming in to give you, this is not something you want to be a part of because there's some type of ulterior motive that this man is coming towards you with. This is a whole, like, I don't know if like these people are even like a, a, a legitimate cult. This is just a group of fake friends that came together 
to do something malicious to another person. Is that, oh, we get a thrill out of this, so we're going to do it. Someone made them false promises. I don't know if there's a, a different quote that a feminine energy made false promises to, and they thought they were going to get something out of it. There is no money. Y'all ain't getting no money. Uh, and then there's a wife energy who's losing a husband or a father, whatever this is, that's been paying people out here to cause hindrances in another person's life. And now they're losing everything. There's a queen of pentacles being pulled out of a community because they were so committed to ending another person. And it's like time and time again, these people get online. She was telling a lot of lies. Like someone knows how to use their words in very, in a very cunning way to hinder other people but it's like time after time and she's out in the cold as well being trying to cause poverty for someone this could be like a practitioner being trying to speak poverty into existence for someone trying to manifest endings this is karma playing out so this knight of pentacles coming into your energy to drag something out slow something down because this is all he's trying to do someone is absolutely insecure Maybe trying to come in to like uh, 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 tempt you or something because they find themselves to be good looking. Someone misrepresents themselves. All they're wanting to do is come towards you to have a one night stand. And they're like, well, I can even pay you to have a one night stand with me. And you're looking at them like, well, what like, where did the devil drag you from? Like, I know you are not, you, you can't be one of us because your common sense is not common sense for you to go to a high priestess, an empress energy, and tell them you'll pay them to have a one night stand with you. The devil had to drag you from somewhere very specific where there's like no one else like you. Unfortunately, you don't see it. And it's a blessing that there's no one else like you because that kind of mindset is dangerous. Someone was drugged from the pits of H-E double hockey stick, but from this specific Part of H-E double hockey stick, there was no one there. He was the only one that qualified to be in that specific section of H-E double hockey stick. Okay? So he's coming in. Be on the lookout. You need to hold back. This person is going through uh, burdens behind the scenes because you are receiving wish fulfillment and you will be having some type of divine union with someone that is a higher level soul. May you have a past lifetime connection with. It will be successful. Someone's going to help you pull through some type of distress these people have been causing you. And they're trying to make it difficult and prevent you from reaching your destination, like getting to the finish line. This is why we have this nine of, uh, I mean, this ten of wands out here. It's like they don't want you reaching your destination, but you're basically already there. Your, your ancestors, the angels, they want you to know. They want you to know that you will have fulfillment. Okay, you will be partnering up with someone very high ranking in society, in the spirit realm, everything. So that you can be secure in life and you will be protected. There could be some type of internal investigation going on in a community. And these people they didn't know that the whole time they were being looked into. But again, yeah, this is what's going on. There's too many towers going on, too many endings going on behind the scenes. People are experiencing too many losses, right? For stealing, trying to block a what? A union, some type of fulfillment, some type of balance or harmony from being brought into a situation. And this is something that has led to people to some type of investigation going on and say, hey, these people, there's too much going on here. This doesn't make sense. This person dog died. This person lost their job. Someone's dad is passing away. Someone's husband is passing away. Someone's child is sick. Someone's in a car accident. Is it? This is not coincidental. So they've been looking into it and they see that this is because of what these people have been doing behind the scenes. And then you have this Knight of Pentacles here that comes from their special place, special section of the H-E double hockey stick uh, uh, realm that thinks he still stands a chance on getting you to start a new karmic cycle. This is someone reckless. They may have a little bit of uh, cha-ching on them. You better be careful before you lose that cha-ching, cha-ching. Because if you do, honey, yeah, you, 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 you're not going to be happy. <laughs> I'm telling you. You're trying to pay to have something dropped out still. Like something is over. You're still out here trying to pay people to end someone. You say, hey, hey, hey. I'll pay you this amount if you'll help me. They don't want no help from you. They don't want to give you no help, nothing. You may want to save that little bit of money you have. Trying to pay to hinder justice, hinder balance. That's what it is. 
I don't know what the heck is wrong with these kind of people. Like the mindset, like the brain cells, the, the neurons, everything ain't functioning. It ain't functioning. Someone wants to come in and force you to see him as a soulmate. You ain't a soulmate. These are all warlocks. Some of them, they see themselves as emperors, but they're the emperors in reverse because of the kinds of things they participate in. Because real emperors don't participate in nonsenses like this. You ain't never going to catch a true emperor participating in this kind of stuff. But when you're delusional and distorted, you have a little bit of money in your pocket and you think, oh yeah, I'm an emperor because I got money. No, 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 no. You're an emperor how you, because of how you carry yourself, your mental, your emotional well-being, being balanced. You, you ain't an emperor just because you got money. You're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself. You got a whole woman out here that's been... I don't even know if this is a woman, but there is someone out here that's been uh, uh, plotting. She's like, I don't like how they think. The, that person is an abomination. The things they say is a blasphemy. Whole time, it's a false religious person. Don't even believe in what they practice. How are you going to hate someone for what they believe in and you don't even... Uh, uh, believe in what you stand for. How? It's the hypocrisy for me. So someone is doing a lot of crying behind the scenes because someone has passed away. And this is justice in this situation. This is karma playing out. This is karma playing out. Now they're worried. What else is going to happen? Is this world lady of high honor going to be receiving a fulfillment in life? Yeah tower they will and i know you all are disappointed about this want to take some type of reckless action to come in and cause someone hindrances move on because the truth is going to keep being exposed about you all don't come in with no false offer to trap someone in some type of karmic situation so that they end up being disappointed and don't receive their ace of pentacles offer from an emperor stay away because the more you keep trying to come into someone's energy the more you're going to lose and the ancestors want you to know they got options on the kind of disasters they can cause in your lives. They got options. That's what they want you to know. Options to secure someone's victory and make sure they have a new beginning. This is a message from the ancestors. They're putting an end to this collaboration, this community, this uh, karmic family, soul tribe, whatever you all want to call it amongst yourself. The ancestors is putting an end to it. Any plans you all come up with. And in practice, this cycle is over, especially for Queen of King of Wands in here. This collaboration is over. And I don't think you all understand how way down you're about to be. This whole group about to be way down. Burden. This is just the start. Oh, this is just the start. You're about to be burdened. And while you're going through burdens, guess what? The person you've been trying to block, they're getting what it is they want. You can be disappointed all you want because they're refusing some type of superficial offer from a fake person that's insecure like the rest of you. Someone's options and possibilities are limitless. Someone is innovative, very authentic. This is what you all have been telling people behind the scenes. And this is how you got this karmic group to come together by telling someone what? Oh, they don't know what they're doing. They're not authentic. They copy other people. You know, they're disingenuine. They are a facade. They pretend to be what they're not. And every time, time and time again, whoever you're talking about, they come out in this energy. Authentic. Authenticity. Let's see if you all can spell that. And they're in the upright. This is a whole empress you've been coming after. That's an empress energy that's crying behind the scenes. Crying behind the scenes because she was, she don't martyr herself. Been out here planning, plotting someone else's ending the whole time she didn't know karma was coming back. You reap what you sow in life. So there is someone out here going through a rough day, rough week, rough month, rough year, and the year ain't ending anytime soon. You're about to have like seven to 10 years of bad luck. You can cry all you want. Someone is about to be going through some type of depressive state. We don't feel bad for you because when you were trying to end someone else out here, you didn't feel bad for doing it. No, you didn't feel bad. You said, I'm going to keep causing blockages in your life. I'm going to keep lying disturbing people's views of you because what you do bothers me, but I want to be able to do what you do. I don't like the fact that you have gifts, but I'm going to what? Uh, pretend. I mean, I don't like the fact that you have gifts, but I want the gifts, but I'm going to pretend like I hate you for having those gifts. Your hate is not pretentious. It's the fact that you don't like the person's gift because you want it. So you've been out here clouding people's judgment about someone. High priestesses is what I'm hearing. 
talking about you, you you're you're here to block their growth you don't want them growing you don't want them accelerating you don't want them being seen in the upright you don't want them receiving their flowers their accolades and all of the all of that so now you're going through this hopefully this will teach you a lesson the next time you incarnate you'll learn how to mind your mother effing business i don't nobody feel sorry for you all no one no one feels sorry yeah, some of you may want to go and seek legal counseling because you're about to have some type of court case coming up. Someone is someone amongst you is worried about a lawsuit. You will be sued. You will be sued. You are absolute. Yeah, I'm telling you, you're going moving on. Whoever you're trying to block, moving on. And this devilish energy is still out here trapping his mind, still telling lies and living in fear the whole time. Bother because someone is still strong and moving on regardless of them not knowing what lies ahead. Yeah, you all want a whole Empress energy, a whole high priestess out here living in fear, refusing to move forward or hesitant to move forward with their life paths or, or on their life paths. But this person ain't afraid. They're moving on to have victory, clarity, triumph, support, everything. It's a big yes for them from the universe. And another yes in being content in life. Their wishes are coming through. It's another yes being in the public eye, which has you all heartbroken. Still out here trying to self-sabotage. Still out here trying to lie. Martyring yourself along the way and not knowing what the ending is that lies ahead of you. This is your ending disappointment after disappointment after disappointment someone wanted to come in and give a fake offer and then they're finding out oh he knows you're not genuine she knows you're not genuine they ain't accepting no offers from you oh well i can go in and give them a new computer since we damaged the other computer i can go in and give them a phone since we damaged the other phone or we've been hacking in the other phone and there's no way to unhack un or do the hacking they don't want nothing from you he said, oh, here's some money for you to buy a new phone. They don't want no money from you. Whoever you're coming through, coming to, they don't want nothing from you all. Because everything you touch is cursed. Everything you touch is cursed. It comes with nothing but burdens. I'm telling you, it comes with nothing but burdens, conflict, endings. Nothing but disappointment. It's a whole group fighting while going through a tower, trying to cause a tower for someone else. All they do is think about how they can cause. I'm telling you, all they do is think or worry about how they can cause endings for someone. And the person you're coming after ain't paying you no mind. They're out here living in their truth, balancing things out in their life, being protected by the spirit realm. Who's putting endings in your lives, putting an ending to all of your plots and plans. And you don't even know about this time. You're not going up against a person. You're going up against a whole spirit and they're causing havoc in your lives. Watching you every time you're coming up with a new plan and things like that on how you can cause this person's ending. It ain't going to work. Everything you do, the spirit realm is monitoring you all at this point because they are fed up. Your brain cells, they said, we give you brain cells to use. We give you common sense to use. Why are you not using it? Oh, we're filled with too much hate. Someone here, these people, they're calling each other a lot, texting each other a lot. They say, hey, did you hear what happened? Oh, my gosh. Is he getting better? No, he ain't getting better. Yeah, it looks like it's the end. Oh, you know, they exposed this. They're saying this is going to happen. I think we should back up. Oh, my gosh. What did we get ourselves involved into? You didn't tell me you were doing all of this behind the scenes. Karma's playing out. And this is just the start. This is going to be going on for a long time. Now, some of you want to be out here like Pontius Pilate, washing your hands. Talking about, I wash my hands off of this. It's too late. Now, you want to walk away after you were standing your ground on how to cause someone, what, discomfort? I'm telling you, it didn't even want to be in the upright. It fell in the reverse. You are out here burdened, right? Because you wanted to, what, hinder someone's strength. You said, no, 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 no. We're going to keep going until you fall flat on your face. You won't be able to stand up to us anymore. You wanted someone to walk away, living in fear, uncertain. 
You say, oh, this is not someone in the upright. This is someone that's uh, malicious. This is someone that's dark. The whole time you knew it was a lie. You knew it was a lie. You all knew what you were doing was a lie. It was based on a lie. You didn't care because what? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows why karmics do the things they do. Now, this queen of pentacles is trapped, stuck, being seen as a liar, as a karmic. This could be someone's wife. She's the one that's been trying to drag something out. Like, let's keep going. We're going to be successful. Let's keep going. We're going to have wish fulfillment. Let's keep going. And now these people, she's been, you know, uh, 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 motivating to keep going and say, nah, you're dumb as heck. This is what you've been doing. You didn't tell us you were doing all of this behind the scenes. A prophecy has been fulfilled in this woman's life. This could be the one where the husband is passing away or the father is passing away. So a prophecy has been fulfilled in her life. And people are seeing that and she still wants to tell them what? To keep going and keep causing illusions. This is the one that's been causing all of the illusions, but this is over. All of this is over. Yeah, this is her husband passing away or her father passing away. Yeah, he's passing away. This is a couple going through her ending. This is a couple going through her in, uh, ending. Her husband could be like a wealthy man. And because he had money and she had access to the money, of course, because they're one, when the two joined together to, be, to become one, her husband was very wealthy, very successful in life, went to work every day, minding his business. Maybe they didn't even have anything to do with what she was doing. But something about your energy, because you're a light worker, you live in your truth, speak your truth, and you live authentically as yourself, it bothered her. She said, oh, no, things like that work like that is of the devil. But the whole time, she's the devil. Whole time, she's the devil. Whole time, she's the devil herself. The devil in flesh herself. But she's against someone that's a light worker. And because their light bothers that demon within her. Oh, we need to do this. I pay you if you do this. Establishing friendships with people behind the scenes to make it look like what? She's genuine. These are all fake friends. Don't like each other. Nothing. Quick to, quick to uh, uh, gain an argument. Tell each other about themselves. That's why you ugly as heck. And that's why you don't know nothing. That's why you can't even read. This is how they talk to each other. That's why you broke as heck. And they're telling her, that's why we only interact with you because you got money. We don't like you. <laughs> Dang. This is the woman that was paying to have something dragged out. When the other people said they wanted to move on, she said she wanted to keep going. Now her keeping going has led to a death in her life. These people are, I'm telling you. This is the woman that was committed to causing endings, misleading. She was the one committed to the rituals. Someone is passing away. Someone has passed away. This four of swords here, the coffin and the moon, someone passed away in her life. So what's happening is the energy she put out is being mirrored in her life. She's dark as heck. Crying. Now you got to hold back and your finances is about to be what? Ending. You, you got debt to pay. You got debt to pay. You can't get away from this contract. She was the one coming up with the collaboration. Everything you can think of, she was the one. They said, let's, let's let this go. Let's walk away. She said, no, I'm afraid this person is going to be happy in life. They're going to be successful. We're going to keep going. I got all the money in the world to keep going. I got all the money in the world to pay for hindrances to block you. And the universe said, oh, that's cute. You think you're going to block them, but their future is abundant. Your future is uncertain. Uncertain. Still out here trying to steal, manipulate, destroy, and everything. Meanwhile, you're going through endings. I'm telling you, you didn't see that issue. Still fulfilled in life. Been doing rituals to block someone's wish fulfillment, someone's security. The, the nine of pentacles is someone that's secure. You got the justice on top of you collected. That means that what things are being balanced out in your life. Everything you've worked for, everything you've invested in, being replenished. Being replenished. Just like we've been freaking predicting on this channel since this channel started. January the 26th, 2024. 
okay and then you got a crazy woman the uh, uh woman of high honor it could be this one or another one wants to take some type of action to come in because she's burning behind the scenes too because she's going through her ending as was predicted as was predicted that she will be going through her ending so now she wants to take action to come in and do what cause more illusions wants to keep a collaboration going this is a whole family that's been collaborating and they're all headed for nothing for, but poverty. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. We told you. Poverty is the road that lies ahead. You've been out here uh, uh, advocating for someone to be put out of their home. Trying to come up with ways on how to end someone's stability. Said, no, 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 no. We can put them out of the house. We can uh, uh, have them unemployed. We can send someone in to dishonor them. We can do this. We can do that. And the whole time you didn't realize the universe was watching you. The ancestors are watching you and saying, when the time comes and we when we uh, decide that we're going to act, we're taking everything away from you. Everything you spoke into the universe on someone else's life is what we're going to be doing in your life. About to be going through laws after laws after laws after laws. And if you didn't know, now you know that these two will be coming together and you'll be having a front row seat to watch them. A front row seat. It's a brand new passionate beginning in love with these people. This empress will be fulfilled. We'll have a family. This is what you all didn't want. You didn't want someone having a family. You didn't want to have, I'm telling you, we'll be having a family. While yours, while you are going through endings, this empress, this emperor, whoever this is, will be having a family, will be having abundance, getting married and everything. And you all will be sitting front row seat to watch. Mark my words. You will have a front row seat to watch this person you've been trying to end elevate. And your lives ain't getting better anytime soon. You all are going through some type of dark night of the soul. And there's an emperor, uh, he could see himself as an emperor. I meant to say king of swords. Whoever this is, going through poverty. This is a king of swords. He thought he was going to have some type of new, fresh start in life. He was hopeful that he was investing in the right thing. They didn't invest in nothing but karma. So he's about to lose everything too. Collective, rest assured, everybody that partook in this, going through endings, it's, ha it's like a, a, a domino effect. It start with one person and then it hits the next one, the next one, the next one, and it just keeps going. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. You can expect, right there, expectations. You can expect that these people are going to get in a taste of their medicine. Getting a taste of their own medicine. This one, she can't hide what she's going through anymore. This is what she's been trying to do. She's been trying to hide it. Like, if I just act like I don't know what's going on, why he's passing away, they won't know. It's because you were out here doing rituals against another person. So the universe decided to pay you back what you put out. Because this is the kind of work you've been putting. I said, hey, you invested a lot of toxicity into the world. You projected a lot of toxicity into the world. So you know what? That's what we're going to give you. You say you don't want them to be loved. Okay, we're going to take the one thing you love the most. Oh, was that your dad? Was that your husband? We're going to call him back home. Going to call him back home. Never in life should you feel because you got money that you can control other people's destiny. This woman has been doing this for a long time to even the people that she works with. The people that have been around her for a long time, she's been doing rituals on them. Blocking their destinies, blocking opportunities and things like that for them. And they didn't know the whole time, but they're out here on a bandwagon supporting her. Yes, let's support Maria and John. Yes, let's support Billy. Not knowing Billy has been doing rituals on you all too. Not knowing the whole time. Billy said, uh-uh. Uh, Maria said, uh-uh. You said, what? Peter is going to get a what? A raise? No. How much is the raise? You want to give them a dollar and 50? Nah, just make it 50 cents. They don't deserve to be living a good life. They call it bigot. This is a bigot, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a bigot. 
this is a bigot she, bigotry oh this is her and the sad part is the husband that's or the father that's passing away they didn't even know what she was involved in they didn't even know got married for money that's all she cares about got married for money nothing more nothing less I wouldn't be surprised if she even gave that man something while he was sick. I see something about a plant. May have given him something. You all need to look into someone's death. It was not natural. It was not natural. Look into her. There's something going on. This is a voodoo. She considers herself a voodoo priestess. And she goes to other practitioners to pay for my, uh, uh, for rituals to be done on other people. Been performing rituals on all of you in a community for a long time. And you didn't even know. But you're out here on her bandwagon to grab your pitchforks and axes. Your chainsaws to go destroy someone else's life that ain't did nothing to you. Because of what? Loyalty. Because of what? Money. So now she's going through it. This is someone that's going to be living with this guilt for the rest of her life. Someone may even go to jail. Out here trying to act like she's all cool and calm, modest. And you ain't modest. This is a whole voodoo priestess.